Welcome back. I'm Elaine Reyes. They're called Los Desparcidios, Mexico's Disappeared. Since late 2006, more than 27,000 people in Mexico have gone missing. That's according to the Mexican government. But the Calderon government never officially acknowledged that disappearances were widespread. A nonprofit Mexico City think tank has calculated that the number of missing people in Mexico could be as high as 300,000. Toward the end of the Calderon administration, Presente. a public outcry is mounting in the Mexican capital and across this nation. They're drawing national and international attention to the growing list of people who are missing in Mexico. Mexico's. Rockefellers, come back. We don't want your new world order, you know? Mm -hmm. Leave Chile right now. Leave Chile. Mm -hmm. You are not... You're, you're killing a lot of people! You're killing a lot of people! Leave here. Leave Chile right now. Leave Chile. Leave Chile! We don't want your world government. Leave Chile! Auschwitz was the largest of Hitler's concentration camps. But its dark purpose was not to house prisoners. Behind the barbed wire, the Nazis created a death factory to secretly murder the Jews of Europe. From the moment he came to power, Hitler wanted to get rid of the Jews from Germany. He turned to what is known as the final solution, the extermination of all these Jewish people. By 1944, 12,000 Jews a day were being killed at Auschwitz. But few outside its fences knew what atrocities were being committed. The prisoners had no way of getting word to the outside. That is, until two brave prisoners decided to escape, determined to tell the world about the secret Nazi genocide. 